find out where each other's at, so you're not digging over the top of me. You're almost right underneath James' dredge hose. I can see your bubbles. I'm dredging right, right close to me. <laughs> All right, I found you a village. I don't know where you're at. Let's get the gold. After four hours of non-stop production, the crew have removed over 70 yards of gravel and rock and are closing in on the bottom. Oh, I don't. What's going on, man? Something's wrong. Dude, man, I don't know what the hell that is. Ugh. Oh. I put soap down my suit. You burned yourself. It's a chemical burn, dude. Damn, I didn't expect that. This is not for my hot water system, everyone. No. New recruit James has second degree burns all over his lower back from his schoolboy era. Our suits get nasty. We pee in them all day. Figured I could put soap down my suit. The soap burned my back. Every diver has their own technique to keep their suit clean underwater. Bro, I use baby shampoo, man. There's no chemicals in that. That stuff probably got lye in it. I think it's like acid, and uh, it gets on stuff, it, it does bad things. Eat skin? Yeah. I'm trying to take the heat out, bro. Right now, I mean suffering. Suffer through the cold for a little while. That just was stupid what I did. He's going to be down, dude. He's going to be down. That's all I needed was down a diver just a stoop like this. I would have thought that that would have done that. New recruit James has to endure a 45-minute drive to the cable crossing to get medical treatment. Lost me a diver because he put a block of soap down his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but laugh because it's a weird, weird mistake, but uh, it's real serious for him right now. James, how you feeling, buddy? How about you get that camera away from me, please? Yeah. I'm embarrassed about it. Like what? This is stupid. I can't believe this. All right. All right. Go heal up. Yep! Ow! He'll be healed up in a day or so, but his punishment is going to be enduring all the jokes about soap. You can't put soap down your ass, burn yourself, and think that you're going to get away with it. <laughs> James and I are diving today. He's healed up enough. Isn't that right? Yo. All healed up. At Rainbow's End, after a tough week of chemical burns and close calls, Dustin's crew are back to full strength in their hunt for bedrock gold. I don't feel any soreness anymore. Uh, a little bit of an itchy flake. Feeling pretty good. The hot water system does worry me a little bit, but you never know with this uh, Anything can backfire in any second. Whatever this hole is, I don't care how deep it is. I want it all cleaned out. That's the goal, anyway. I'll knee down there a little bit. Your back starts to get tender, man. Come on up, dude. 
Driver two in. You had too much goddamn fake time, bro. Dustin's crew are back to full production, removing 18 yards of gravel every hour to get to the gold at the bottom of the waterfall. How you doing, James? Well, I'm definitely following a wall now. All the materials came in on me. I keep sucking it up. That's fine. It's opening up to something different, that's for sure. Wes slows down the water across the sluice box to get a better look. Holy Look at the box! Look at the gold that's in that box! Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> Dustin still not hit bedrock, but all the signs point to a life-changing payday. I love seeing gold in the box. Yeah. I don't know that I'll ever see enough. Let's check it out. This is beautiful. This is exactly what we need. When we get to the bedrock here, we're not going to know what to do with all this gold. Be thankful for what we got, man. I've been doing this for years, and I've never seen this like this. In a day, that doesn't happen. Wow! And you know what? It's just gonna get better and better. Here's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen out here. You know, goes to show you, you don't know anything. Not until you dig it up. This is going to be awesome. 